Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back on the Outcast server with another five minutes. That's how I did it. If you've been following along, you know that we are working towards uh, generating some lava for our smell tree. Uh, now, we've decided to use the forestry mod for that, uh, specifically the bee portion of uh, that pack. Uh, that is because uh, the bees can generate some items uh, that we can use in the production of lava. Uh, and that way we don't have to go out into the world uh, where it is dangerous and, uh, you know, possibly fall into that lava. But uh, to get there, we're going to need to build ourselves uh, some more items. Uh, now, uh, specifically, we need a way of extracting items from these uh, honeycombs. Uh, I've got a sampling here from we, uh, ones that we've collected out in the wild, uh, plus some of the ones that we've uh, collected from the bees in our uh, apiary. So uh, to extract the uh, items from the honeycomb, uh, we're going to need something called a centrifuge. To build the centrifuge, we're going to need something called a sturdy casing. Now, uh, this is simply eight bronze ingots in a circle in a crafting table. Now, we're going to take that sturdy casing, place it in the crafting table with six copper ingots and two glass uh, blocks. That is going to get us our centrifuge. So, there's the centrifuge. Uh, like the other machines uh, from this pack, we're also going to need a way to power it. Uh, so, I've ge already uh, generated myself a clockwork engine. So, we're just going to place that right there. We're going to prime that up and get it all the way up into the red and there we go and then we're going to open this up and we are just going to take let's start with the regular honeycomb we're going to throw that into the centrifuge you can see it is starting to spin that up and we should get a couple of items out of it uh, so there we go there is a honey drop that is good because we're going to need one of those uh, for the next little thing that we're going to build uh, right away uh, here's a mundane comb um We'll see what other sort of drops we can get. Uh, there are a number of different items that will drop from each one. Uh, there's some beeswax. Uh, that is a very common drop, as is the honey drop. Uh, some of the higher level combs will get you some higher level items. But uh, these are all sort of low level combs because we are still building up our uh, pack here. So, And that is probably slowing down. So we're just going to power that up just a little bit more. And there we go. There's another honey, honey, honey drop, and we'll throw that mossy comb into the uh, centrifuge. And if I'm hoping we're going to get one more honey drop here, but let's see what we can find. And oh, look at that. We got beeswax and a honey drop. Uh, so that is good because we're going to want to use those honey drops for the next item that we are going to build. So let's go over to our carpenter and uh, we want to build ourselves a bee, bee elizer. Now this is a little tool that you can use to analyze the different bees uh, that you collect. Uh, to do that in a carpenter you need four tin ingots, two glass panes, uh, two pieces of redstone and one diamond. Uh, you're also going to need two buckets worth of water into the carpenter. So let's throw those items items into the carpenter's um, uh, inventory slot and you can see we are already out of power uh, so let's just charge that back up and there we go so that should be enough to finish that off and we'll just let it catch up Okay guys, so this is definitely taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. So here we go and there we go. There is the Bealizer. We're going to take that out. Now we've got it in our hand. We're going to right click on it and you can see it brings up a little bit of a uh, display here. So let's take this Marshy Queen. We're going to place her into the B slot. We're going to take one of the honey drops. We're going to place it in there and you can see it instantly analyzes her. So if we click shift on here, there's a sort of a little bit of a tool tip but it also brings it up in here so it shows the lifespan production pollination uh the flower type that they require um active and inactive these are all sort of mutations that have uh, happened within this queen now uh, this is one that i've kind of bred out from uh, a couple of different bees so let's take her out let's put this princess in here and again we will drop that honey drop in there and as you can see there are uh, some slightly different uh info here there's fertility as well it shows a number of different uh items uh also it will show you what uh i guess tier of a bee you have got so right now this marshy one is uh, just a tier one let's use this last honey drop uh, on this marshy drone and you can see again uh, a lot of them are very similar because they were uh, 
three marshy um, bees, but uh, if you throw different ones in there, this is going to show you different information. Uh, so this is all very important, but uh, this is a, a tool that we're going to need to use uh, to help us uh, in leveling up or tearing up uh, our bees uh, so we can get to the ones that are going to allow us to create that lava uh, for our smeltery. But uh, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Uh, also, there'll be a list below of some of the other Outcast members. Uh, please, please, please drop by and check out uh, their content. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.